morning, everyone. This is Janie Seltzer. I am a spiritual director and poet of the spiritual life. And I am so happy to be able to spend these few minutes with you to bring you to a place of calm and quiet. I am broadcasting live. If you'd let me know you're there, that would be wonderful that you're listening. And would you begin to like and share this to your Facebook page so that others can find peace. As you can tell, there is noise behind me. That is traffic up on El Camino Real. I am seated, hi everyone. I am seated here in the prayer shelter of Hidden Life Ministries. Oh, it's so good to see you coming on from all over the world. I'll be broadcasting right here live in the Zig Ziglar's Facebook page every other day. And it is such a privilege to call us all to a place of peace. I think that we have right now at this moment in history, a golden opportunity to learn one simple verse. If we don't learn anything else, sad for us. And that simple verse is Psalm 46, 10. Be still and know that I am God. Hmm. Be still. Be still and know. Be still and know that I am God. Even though there's a pandemic circling the globe, he is still on the throne. God is in charge and we must turn to him for help in times of trouble. He has his purposes. He has things to do in our world that we cannot even imagine. I believe with all of my heart that what he is most doing is calling us to stillness. The world is too frantic. We are buried in work in technology and yes I'm thankful for this technology yes it can be used for good and it can also be very very distracting busyness is the greatest enemy of the spiritual life and so just as it will be at the end of time we will all bow before the holy throne of God and we are told in Revelation that for seven minutes now seven is an important number in scripture and it means more than just seven minutes it's a it's a number that speaks of the power of god for seven minutes we are called the entire human population is called to silence don't you think this is a good time to begin to be comfortable with silence I just heard our president here in the, United, in the United States saying that the American people are looking for answers and they're looking for hope. Well, that is true around the world. And I would like to suggest that the best answer is prayer and the greatest hope is in Christ Jesus, my Lord. And I pray that you will come to the Good Shepherd. He will take you in his arms and he will hold you and keep you calm. And so I would like to call us all to prayer right now. There's a reason I'm in the prayer shelter. On Sunday and over and over and over again, I will remind you of what Psalm 91 says. The one who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God will abide under the shadow of his wings. Hmm. He will say, my Lord and my God in whom I trust. 
Trust him, my friends. He, the Lord Jesus, sits at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us right now. Hmm. And he calls his people to intercede as well. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Always ask yourself that question. If you feel overwhelmed, ask yourself, what can I do? Now, there's a lot of things in the world today we can't do. Here in California, we've been ordered to, um, to incubate. I can't think of the word that the president, that our governor used, but we've been called to stay at home, a stay at home order, except for emergencies. But you know what? There is so much we can do. We can intercede for this world. Hmm. And so I want to lead you right now in prayer, as I will continue to do day after day after day. So the first thing I'd like to ask you to do is to exhale all of your anxieties. <sighs> exhale them. You see, Jesus said, be anxious for nothing. Hmm. That includes the coronavirus. That includes being incubated. That includes disease. Be anxious for nothing. Hmm. So now, let me say it again. Exhale your anxieties. <sighs> let them go. Let them go. Under the shadow. Hmm. This is not a new age practice. This is Christian meditation. This is what Jesus did. He went alone to be with Abba Father, to breathe in his presence. And so, and he told us to be anxious for nothing. So now let's do it again. <sighs> Release your anxieties under the shadow of his mighty wings, my friends. Come Holy, Holy Spirit. Hmm. Come and comfort your people, Holy Spirit. Now, my friends, breathe. Breathe deeply. Breathe in the breath of God. For we are created in His image. And he is our very breath. I want to pray for a dear friend's baby, Adeline. She is struggling for breath. And so I pray, Holy Father, that you would breathe on Adeline. I also pray, Holy Father, that you would breathe on all those who are suffering with the coronavirus right now, who are having difficulty finding their breath. We ask for the Holy Spirit to pan out. <laughs> we have a pandemic and we need the Spirit to pan out, to breathe that beautiful, fresh, healing breath of Spirit, the holy, clean, pure Spirit of God. So, Holy Spirit, breathe. <sighs> Because you have asked us to pray, we call upon you in this day of trouble. Come, Holy Spirit, comfort, comfort your people, love on them, lay your hand of blessing upon them, Lord Jesus. Steady them in your holy presence. I ask Abba Daddy that you would remind everyone that you are a good daddy you are good at all times you are good in the good times and the difficult and dark times there is no place that we can go to flee your spirit you go to the deepest depths and to the highest heights and so 
overcome Abba Father by your power, the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit. Send forth your spirit, Abba Daddy. Send forth your spirit, Abba Daddy. I would like to encourage all of you, my friends, to practice stillness. I want to read to you from one of my big books called Secrets. Now I know that's backwards, so for that reason, I and this will be how I conclude today, I have Secrets are the treasures of the kingdom of God. That is the secret. Christ in you, my friends, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's why your prayers are needed. That's why you are powerful. It is Christ in you as you invite him. Some say that Christ is always present. Friends, there is an issue with that. We all have a sin problem. You must repent. You must turn away from this world and turn towards the creator, the maker of heaven and earth and say, Abba, Daddy, forgive me for my sins. Cover me with the blood of Christ so that Christ will be in me. And my friends, I want to read to you from the secrets book, the first poem. It's the third poem. Here it is. You can't read it. It's backwards, but I want to show it to you, um, and then I'll read it. Here we go. Close your eyes and listen. I think this could strengthen your soul. It is my soul crying out to Abba Daddy. I need to hear, Father. I slip into your presence, shedding senseless noise that overpowers and disrupts my hearing. Hmm. I am listening, Father. I attend to the yearn that lives and hungers for more of you. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you for speaking, Father. You speak living words and fill sacred space that is secret, hidden, intimate, and eternal. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, he does. Do not waste this precious time we have. We have all we need. We have an answer. It is prayer. Would you please like and share this on your Facebook page so that others may know we have an answer and we have hope. It is Jesus, Yeshua, the very Son of God who loves us with an everlasting love. He sees you. He likes you. He understands you. He cherishes you my friends do not forget do not forget leave room for god to come hmm there's a rembrandt surprising presence and power at your right or left be still and wait celebrate the good pleasure of his company yes yes Yes. Come to my blog, janieseltzer.com, and I'll send you out those two poems. And I want you to know that with all the love that Christ puts in you, in me and you, we can love one another. Until next time, my friends, goodbye.